Pistol Pete here. Today, as you can tell by the title, we're going to be talking about the Zastava M70 AK-47 rifle. So, yeah, I was looking for rifles, and I just didn't know which one to pick. You know, I, mind you, I have, I have firearms. I have a bunch. I'm a novice when it comes to firearms. I mean, I, sh I shouldn't say that. I know a lot about firearms, but I don't know all the mechanics, you know, I'm the... I'm just going to give you my experience with this one, you know, so, uh, you know what I know. So please don't chew me up in the comments saying, oh, you did that wrong or you didn't mention that, blah, blah, blah. I know. I know. So that's why I posted in the beginning of the, the video here, the specs of this rifle. So you guys can see everything that it talks about, everything it comes with and all the bells and whistles with it. Uh, mine is just my experience with it, you know, because I do have, you know, quite a few firearms. I've shot in numerous AKs of friends and, and things like that. So this is just one I picked up. So after doing some research and talking with friends, all of them that are, and I have friends that are our gun experts that know a lot about rifles. They own hundreds of them. And I have friends that own a lot of rifles. So, and not just rifles, pistols and everything. You know, they collect their collectors and their enthusiasts and their gunsmiths, some of them. So I, uh, I was asking around and they said for the price, for the money right now in, in 2023, the best you can get is going to be Zastava. You know, obviously you can get Arsenal and things, but again, if you want to spend, depending on how much you want to spend, you know, if you want to spend, you know, 2000 plus and, you know, or, or up in that range, then you go ahead and go with Arsenal. If you want uh, something around 1000 go with uh, Zastava or uh, PSA. But PSA, now mind you, I do live in California, and we all know California laws for guns suck really bad. So we all got to you know, abide by the law and try to find stupid little ways around it, you know, as far as not by breaking the law, but to make it still legal, but uh, functional and still be able to enjoy these firearms, you know, for the legal law abiding citizens. So to do that, you got to do these stupid little features, which I'm going to go over here soon. But and that being said too, where I'm at too, I don't know about all over California, but I'm in Southern California. And I did a pretty vast sweep of this area for firearms, and they're all crazy priced right now, if you could find them. This Zostava, the M70, I had a hard time finding it. Maybe in your area it's easy. Maybe it's in your shelves where you're at. But where I'm at in uh, Southern California at this area, I've called at least 15 shops. Not only did they do not have it in stock, they could not order it. I even had a few, uh, maybe they're just lazy, they don't want to. I even had a few distributors say it's illegal. They can't get it because it's not California compliant, blah, blah, blah. But you can make them California compliant and stuff like that. So that maybe they just didn't want to order them for me. Uh, I found one shop finally that said, "Hey, I got a I got a distributor that uh, didn't have it in the stock. You know, no one had it in stock. No one. But uh, one said they could order it, but it's an order in back order indefinitely. So uh, it could come in in a week and come in in five years. I don't know what they're gonna tell me. So I hit up another guy. He told me that uh, finally he said he has two in stock and is one of his distributor branches in Texas. Uh, he recommends me ordering one if I want to order now. He's like, I'm not trying to push you into it." Um, it's up to you, your call. I'm just letting you know, uh, there they go. These ones have been going fast. So I said, let's do it. Uh, pull the trigger. Uh, I want to get it. And, uh, so I finally, finally got the, the M70. So let me, let me bring it up here and show you guys. So this is the California compliant M70. Let's do a quick drive by. Yeah. It's awesome. It's a freaking beautiful rifle. I love it. I mean, I love AKs. Um, so that's why I went with this one though, to say why I went with, uh, Zastava is because it's the one that's most, almost all my friends recommended. And not only that, it's, uh, the most reliable I see in most reviews I see on YouTube, everyone is saying how awesome this freaking, uh, rifle is and how reliable it is and how it's close as you can get to almost military grade. So, um, yeah, they're just, they're just, uh, one of the best you can, the get. quality, the materials used. Um, so I'll go over some of the specs. Like I said, I, I listed the specs in the beginning, but I still go over them again. Uh, a few of them anyways. So it does have a chrome lined hammer forged barrel, which is awesome. You know, that's what everyone wanted. I like it like that. I know you lose a little bit of accuracy. They said, um, there has been people that done tests. You could check out some of the YouTube channels where they get extensively, uh, into it regarding, uh, uh, the accuracy difference between a chrome lined barrel and a non chrome lined barrel. So uh obviously chrome line lasts longer but it's a little less accurate for me in the shooting i do a little you know plinking i do and the target range i use it's not a big deal for me you know i'm not i'm not taking an ak and trying to do precision precision shooting uh you know i'm just having fun with it you know hitting targets with red dots and things that's what i'm gonna get in my red dot for this next but um just freaking awesome awesome so again since i said i live, live in california you have to have this stupid paddle thing on here uh, fixed stock. You can have collapsible stocks or folding stocks. You have to have a pinned 
magazine, uh, you know, for 10 rounds. So it's not a, you know, not a high capacity magazine. Um, this one uh, does come obviously with the polymer furniture. You can get this, in, if you can find them, like I said, in California, you can get them with uh, wooden furniture, different types. You know, they have something called, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, just a standard, uh, uh, what is it? Like the wood finish look, or you can get different colors of wood, red and different, you know, different stains. Um, and this one, what's cool about the, the, the Stalo, which a lot of people like, and I kind of like it too, is it does come with a, the cleaning rod, the barrel cleaning rod here. Um, it's just, just bitching, bitching overall. I mean, it's just badass. It does have a bulge trunnion, um, of course, hammer forged. It's all, uh, hammer forged components. Uh, everything, all the internals and, and trigger, everything is made in, uh, uh Serbia. And, uh, cause this is a, Ciber a Serbian AK, uh, formerly known as Yugoslavia. Um, so, uh, this, this is, uh, you know, a plus they say, and plus the, the receiver, the stamped receiver is, uh, uh, 1.5 millimeters thick. So it's, you know, it's meant to, this one is meant for pretty much military style use. You know, I know people probably put, leave comments and, oh, it's not, it's a civilian model ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But anyways, they said that they made the, you know, this what they made them so thick for, this was able to, uh, you know, have all the, the pretty much war attachments, you know, was it the grenade launchers and all that stuff on this thing. So, um, it's just a bitchin', bitchin' gun. So I did take this out and you'll see this in the video, uh, coming up here. I'm going to play a little, couple of big short videos. Um, I didn't get a chance cause you know, again, right now where I'm at, is just really crappy for firearms. You know, it's just really shitty. I don't know if it's all over California. I know different States know cause I have friends live in different States, but I know California right now, it's pretty damn bad. So trying to find ammo is really hard right now, especially for, you think for AK it'd be simple. Um, but it's, uh, kind of hard. And the I, only one I found was a Winchester and it was freaking like a dollar 25, a, a shot, a shot. So it was like 55, 56 bucks for 50 rounds. It was something crazy like that, or even more. I think it was something. So I was like, you know, obviously I just bought one box of 50 right now just to try Cause I, I just got it a couple days ago. I just wanted to test it out and see how it fires, see how it functions. Um, so I didn't get into too many, uh, I'm going to of course try to find that where I, what I went, it was ridiculous, but I only found one place that had some and that was all they had. And I just want to test it. So I, like a dummy, I did buy it, you know, um, I, but I wanted to, I wanted to check it out. I wanted to try it, you know? So, you know, in my opinion, it's a waste of money for that price. I wouldn't buy, I wouldn't try to stock up on it with that price, but just for testing the function of this firearm, I, I, I did it. I went and bought, uh, bought one box to test it. So I'm gonna look for more like uh, surplus rounds, you know, still still cased rounds. You know, it's an AK; it can handle all that shit, especially this one. So I'm gonna eventually try to find if I can see if I can find any deals on bulk ammo for steel ammo. Um, I heard there's a few out there that do pretty good at that. You know, I know you can't really find Russian uh, ammo anymore because of that band, but uh, there's other places I know that, that still that still you can. Uh, I think Bulgaria and a few other places that will still import those rounds pretty damn cheap, fairly cheap. You know, so you can find qu quite a bit of. Uh, uh steel case cheap so i'm going to look into that and get in stock up on that so for right now forgive me i didn't do any type of accuracy you know uh test this is strictly this the shooting that you're going to see right now is strictly just for uh function just checking function see if it would uh, any malfunctions if it rapid fires if it uh jams in any way how it feels if it feels you know pretty smooth um how the action is and just things like that i wasn't so you're not going to see any like me trying to hit targets or, you know, uh, sight anything in or, you know, any type of any type of that in this video. Eventually, I'll go back out and do something like that. I am going to get on this side here. You can see it does have a part uh, spot here so you can get a uh, scope mount. And uh, they even it's one that they uh, the Stava has uh, uh, for this exact firearm. Um, I know that it's outsourced by some other company, but they it's, it's outsourced for them for this exact firearm. So I did order that. So it's going to have a mount here. I think I'm just going to throw a red dot. Like I said, I'm not going to put a scope on this one. Uh, we'll see in the future holds, but I'm just going to do that for now and just get a scope. I mean, just get a red dot, not a scope. And uh, I ordered also a strap sling for it. A sling and uh, a couple more magazines, 10 round magazines. And uh, yeah, I mean, that that's that's all for right now that I'm going to get a uh, besides trying to find ammo, that's all I'm going to do for this bad boy. Um, and the action is pretty damn smooth. Look at this. I mean, and then that trigger, it's it's like a four and a half pound trigger pull. And check it out. Boom. I mean, it's pretty crisp, you know. A lot of people say it's a little draggy, a little bit grindy. But but to me, in my opinion, it's pretty damn crisp. But this one, this is just this one. But 
pretty pretty nice in my opinion i, I thought when i shot it is it was pretty crisp I mean, i was able to fire it pretty fast um you know it does have the standard ak lock uh safety oh, whatever it, it works this one does have a uh bolt hold, uh, hold open um you have to get the actual uh magazine for like the siberian style uh uh, I'm Siberian, uh, Serbia style magazines for it, but it does have a, a bolt open. It's kind of a pain in the ass, this one here. I mean, it works, you know, like I said, some ranges want you to show that it's clear. Um, and the bolt open is for their magazines does work. But again, as soon as you remove the magazine, the bolt uh, flies forward. So it's kind of pointless like, other than just showing it's cl for clearing and stuff like that. To me, it's here, no, there. It's not a, nothing special to me. Um, you know, it's not a... It's not a, a great thing or a bad thing. It's just whatever. It's a feature that they added to it. Um, it does have adjustments here for elevation and has a front post. And the front post is pretty, pretty dead on. So it looks like it doesn't look like all some of the AKs you see a little bit tweaked, a little bit out of alignment. This one they they do pretty good quality with the uh, Zostava, and that's what I'm seeing from everyone. They do really good quality. They import their um, the only thing they change when they bring it here is the furniture, and then obviously the they have a fixed, uh, I guess what you call it, uh, flash hider or whatever they call them. Forgive me because I forget the terminology of that one there. That's like the slant muzzle brake, I guess, muzzle brake. Um, and I think in the future, they do make something called a comp mag. You can put a mag in that you can load 10 rounds in through the side here. And then just like anything else that's fixed mag, you can actually, I think I might do that because I hear they, they're pretty reliable. And then from there, you could put your uh, standard grave, you could get a collapsible stock. I don't think you still get folding because the, the rifle has to be a certain length to, to be considered a full size rifle and that, before it's an SBR, short barrel rifle. Um, so I might not do a collapsible, I mean a, a folding, but I'll just do like a collapsible to where it's legal, a fixed collapsible, they call it. And um, you, could, you know, from there, you could put different things on the muzzle. Uh, muzzle tip there, either a muzzle brake or flash hider, whatever you want to do for that point. So I might do that in the future. We'll see. We'll see. Because, I mean, this little thing does, it's kind of a pain in the ass shooting. Uh, I'm not, I, got, I mean, like anything, you can get used to it. But um, I, I don't know. I might just, even just to have a pistol grip, I might go ahead and get that fixed mag. I um, mean, it's easy to remove. If you uh, go out of state or something, you could remove it and put back in just regular magazines and and uh, use it. Like, again, I don't want to get into laws. There's just no common sense in any of this shit. But... We got to comply, right? If you don't, you lose your shit. So got to do it. All right, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little shooting segment here, and I'll get back to you after first that. impression on the Zastava M70, uh, AK-47, chambered in six, uh, 7.62 by 39. So as I said earlier, that obviously it's California compliant. You got to obey the rules here in California. So it has to have that dumb paddle style uh, grip on it. And fixed magazine, uh, I should say a pinned magazine, and a fixed stock. Um, you can change it and make it uh, with all your features, the scary features on it, by uh, fixing the magazine. But since I just got this uh, right out of the box, this is the way it came, that I'll test it out and show you guys. So uh, let's just see. This is just going to be a function test. I'm not doing anything for accuracy. So for all the guys leaving the comments, uh, I'm not shooting anything. Yes, because it's just a function test out of the box. All right, let's see how it runs. impressions are that it runs freaking smooth it feels smooth the action feels smooth uh recoil is low i've shot in ak's before uh but again the, the recoil is not as bad as people think it is and uh just bitching just bitching okay now i'm gonna uh just rapid fire it to check out and see if there's any failures to feed or anything like that uh check it through and see how fast i can uh, get some uh, bullets down range here Okay, so as you can see, no failures at all. Um, ran flawlessly, uh, felt smooth. Like I said in the video, uh, the, everything felt really nice. Um, I mean, everything, I mean, it, it's an AK. <laughs> it functioned like an AK. And when you get quality like 
Zostava. Uh, it, there's really no, no really, uh, unless you somehow got a, a damaged one or something, you're not going to have any issues with this damn thing. It's a tank. You know, these things are meant to, meant to go to war, man. They're, they're badass. They're just awesome. So, um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to eventually get a, a red dot for it and uh, some other magazines, maybe throwing that pistol grip and throwing that fixed mag. Uh, I'm not too sure yet. I'm still debating on that. Um, got my sling coming in. So, all right, guys. Like I said, I hope you enjoy this uh, little video here. And next time, maybe I'll take it out and do a video of me actually like trying to be accurate with it and, and hit some targets. This was strictly just a function test for the gun since I just got it. And, uh, and like I said, it passed with flying colors. I'm glad all my friends steered me right. My friends are all pretty much experts at this stuff. I'm, I said, I'm more of the novice when it comes to guns, you know, I, ha I own a bunch of guns and I know how to break them down, clean them and, uh, and, uh, service them and all that stuff. And, you know, uh, clear failures and, uh, affairs to feel, you know, just simple stuff. But when it comes into like taking them completely apart and changing barrels out and all the tools needed and, you know, all that stuff, they, they get into that reloading, all that stuff. They do all that, not me. So one good thing is I'm fortunate to have friends like that because if anything happens, I, I send it to them and they fix it for me for free. So, <laughs> but uh, I don't worry about that too much. Um, I just, you know, I love shooting for recreational, for fun. Um, you know, just going out and plinking off stuff and shooting at targets and having a good time. But all right, guys. So hopefully I didn't make this too long for you. Please like, subscribe and share. And until next night, gun or whatever.